842 now, it's back to school time, but pads and pencils might not be on every student's shopping list. Table, uh, tablets may be the way to go this year, and we're not talking about the yellow-lined paper kind. Ken is at the touch screen with a look at what's out there this morning. And there's a lot out there. Just talking to Ryan for a second, I realized I'm kind of missing out on a lot, so let's catch up and well, see what we said, got. She said no more pads and, and pencils, but I, I've got a pad and, and, a, and a pencil so here. So to speak, that yeah, works you do. the same way. So a, a lot of kids these years, uh, the, these days, are saying, hey, Mom, Dad, I need a tablet for school because I don't need a laptop or anything else because I want to play with it. And my first reaction is I'm not spending $600 for you to have a tablet to go to school with, but... Yeah, and, and certain studies have shown that kids actually learn better on a tablet wow, okay. because they don't have the, the keyboard and the mouse to play with. They don't have to... They can literally interact. So I was telling you my three-year-old son, he yeah. can trace letters. He can do math now wow. at three. So this is, that's pretty fantastic. So yeah, tablet works great for that. But a lot of people are saying for school, do, does my kid need that? And for most kids that are that are going to like high, anyway from uh, elementary all the way through high school, yeah. they don't need a tablet yet. Um, because access to the internet, unfettered access to the internet, is kind of bad for most little kids. That's true. And so they can they can do their research and things like that with some parental supervision, but as soon as they head off to their room with it, there's not really a lot of great parental controls for tablets. So for most little kids, I'd say, don't get a tablet yet. Okay. But for college-age students, tablets are fantastic. Oh, all right. Because you've got access to the Wi-Fi everywhere. So if you're over on UC Davis campus, yeah. no matter where you go, you're going to have access to Wi-Fi. So you're going to be able to get just about anything you want. And most most college professors don't have you print things anymore. You're going to email them. Just submit it, right, okay. So being able to do that, and then you get a little Bluetooth keyboard to attach to this, right. and boom, you're taking notes in class, and it's nice and easy to carry around. So also when you're in college, there's a few apps that will help you out. So this is one um, where you can take notes with oh, your pen, right? Um, and then you can, you can add different photos to mm -hmm. your notes, and this makes it searchable. So even if you type in like these words here, you can search for that using this, mm, this thing. Search Where's, for keywords, okay, yeah. yeah. So that way you can keep all your notes and put them all in one project. Another thing is we talked about this last segment, Evernote. So if yeah. you're doing a big research project, you can keep all of your stuff in one specific location. So you can copy web pages, book, book inserts, and things from your Kindle, things like that. So you can keep all your notes in one spot. Another fantastic one is this is for taking tests. How many times have you had a book where all the test answers are in the back? Yes. And so you're flipping back and forth, flipping back and forth. Well, this, you use your smart cover here, and you can just pop it up, and you'll see the question. Yes. And just a little bit past, you'll see the uh, the answer. Oh, okay. So you can take tests uh, for yourself a lot easier. But also, uh, if you have an iPad, you get access to iTunes University. Oh. So these are my. lectures from uh, renowned professors from MIT, Harvard, Stanford, and you can just watch any of this. This may not necessarily be your coursework, but yeah. for, for things that will help you learn more, this is fantastic. And last but not least, if you've got an iPad or a tablet, you need some kind of ability to create documents and, right. and stuff like this. So this is Pages. Uh, if you've got a, a, a tablet for like a Kindle Fire yeah. like you, mm -hmm. this is something you can use. It's called Quick Office Pro. It's basically your words. So you can do Word or, right. or Excel or something like that. They don't make, Office hasn't come out yet for the tablets, although when the Surface comes out, Office will be released from for tablets. From Microsoft, yeah, it's yeah. coming out soon. And that'll be perfect. We were talking before, and thank you for saying I don't have to get a child a tablet. Yeah. I just don't understand why <laughs> I would spend that kind of money for a child to have a tablet, but I understand for college students, maybe even high school students, yeah. to have the access to those things, but you're right, you're not able to really uh, to guide that and to understand, you, prohibit you, where they're going. You give a 13-year-old kid a tablet and send him into his room. Yeah, that's bad. He's bad not doing news. homework. No, that's a good you know, point. So he's going to have unfettered access to the internet, plus he's going to be able to play games and do whatever. So it's it's certainly fun, but but the family computer in the living room where he everybody can see him doing his homework yeah. and everybody can see what he's doing, that's still the best option for, for most kids. I'm going to be the dad that's hiding around on the... <laughs> what are you doing in there? <laughs> Just popping in the door at any moment's notice. What are you doing? That's what my dad did all the time. Ryan, I was going to see you, brother. Hey, Thank you. Nerds on you. call with always good advice for us, Marianne. All right, and here's the phone number if you'd like to reach them uh, and their address as well. They're at 4315 Marconi Avenue. Toll free if you're... Oops, that's the other one. Thank you. Toll free if you're out of the 916. It's 800-919-NERD there this morning. Ken will be back and he'll sit right over here when we come back. 4315 Marconi Avenue in Sacramento.